couch dwelling dreamers who can't remember why they came. Melissa McClelland and Luke Doucette, when they heard Stuart McLean had died, the first thing they did was sit down and sing one of his favorites from when they toured with him. Just when you thought you Stuart McLean encouraged them to form their band Whitehorse and helped launch it on one of his cross Canada tours. Next song is about In the an time. industry where some can't bear sharing the spotlight, they knew Stuart McLean as instinctively generous. Stuart wasn't, you know, doing favors for record labels or this or that. It was he was really searching out raw talent in Canada and really trying to give those artists an opportunity. I think it made him proud that he could stand at the end of the show and like, look at us, we're all one big team. You are my sunshine. The Good Lovelies, busy working on their sixth full-length album, say the exposure and support from Stuart McLean gave them a boost when they needed it most. People started to write us emails and people started to hear us from across mm -hmm. Canada and we had barely gone on a tour yet. He really challenged us to be our very best and his show was his show, and uh, but it was also our show too. He really wanted to give us yeah. an opportunity to, to be our best in front of all these folks. McLean, always scouting for talent, found them. But getting on the Vinyl Cafe was just the beginning. For McLean coached, advised, helped whenever he could. He really encouraged us to just aim higher, shoot higher, be, be better, be bigger. Which makes his loss even larger. Oh, where did the love go? Howard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.